What's up guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an achievement review for Unbox Newbies Adventure. Developed by Prospect Games and published by Merge Games. Coming to the Xbox One July 25th for a price of $29.99. I'm going to show you what this game is like and go over the achievements. There's actually a sale going on it. If you buy it in the next 24 hours, you can save $7.00. Or you can check out on my Twitter at Achievement Land. I'm going to be giving away a copy of this game by the end of the week on Friday, July 30th. So check that out. So there's 15 achievements. Unfortunately, one of them is broken at the moment. That's the one I don't have. All these ones at the beginning are very easy to get. This one I'm going to show you how to get. The diaries are all over, so you get that no problem. Find and drive a vehicle. There's vehicles all over the place. You just jump in them and then you can drive. Slam or shoot uh, 50 wild cards. The wild cards are the bad guys they'll be going after here and there. Slamming them is a lot easier than shooting them. You just jump up with our trigger, then you press B to slam down. Unbox is when you uh, hit L trigger to jump up higher. You can jump six times, but it's like your health kind of, and you have to refill it, and then you can jump more. You'll know once you start playing. It's pretty simple. The master stamp is when you beat the boss in an area. There's three master stamps because there's three different areas besides the hub world. You don't need to get one in the hub world. You have to slam 500 wild cards too. There's a good spot for this in the first area, Paradise Isles. There's like a mission and you'll get to the spot where guys just keep pouring out out of this machine and you can just sit there and keep slamming them until you get the achievement. That's how I got it. The giving post, uh, there's a couple around. I'm going to show you where there's one right in the hub world. The master stamp, both areas, beat the bosses, rescue all, every zippy on every world. There's 31, as you can see, one in the hub world, and then 10 for each of the worlds that you go to. You got to collect everything. You got to get all the stamps, all the golden tapes. And uh, I'm going to show you how it's, how you can go about that and how, it, how to make it easier. So these are the golden tapes. You can actually hear a sound when you get close to them. You can hit select. It will show you what you collected in the world. I'm on my second profile now, so I started a new world, so I can collect stuff still. So yeah, like they make a sound. These are the health. When you press L trigger, you'll see that six on the bottom. When you press L trigger, you jump up. You can jump up six times. You can actually put the volume down, the music, if you like. The music's good, but if you put it down, then you can hear the gold tapes. Kind of helps out. I think I hear one over here. Yep, there's one up there. So yeah, I use one of my unbox. So that's kind of like health too. So if you like use all your unboxes, you're on zero. You can't double jump. And if you get hit by something, you'll die. And you'll go to the checkpoint, the last one you went to. So yeah, those are unboxing, jumping like that. You have to do that 216 times for an achievement. Don't worry, you'll get that as you play. <laughs> you go back to the checkpoint the mailboxes you'll get health again or you can pick up those little green boxes you can hold X and it'll bring you back to the last checkpoint as well so look around for those checkpoints a lot now you have to collect stamps you get stamps from the missions you can press right and left on the d-pad and it will give you an arrow towards the next mission there's stamps from the missions and then there's hidden stamps you just gotta find them and then there's the zippies. Now, there's Bounce. He's uh, in each of the areas. You could talk to him. And you can talk to him about finding items. And he'll show you where they are. He shows you a picture of where they are. This is really good when you get down to like a couple left. And you can't find them. Or you have like your one golden tape left. You just keep pressing it and it will show you different ones. Sometimes it shows you different angles. It's really good when you have one left or a couple left. It will keep showing you different angles of it. What I did was take, I took pictures of with my phone. And then I went around and I tried to match the area and found them. The challenge stamps are from the guys, the hidden stamps. He'll show you where they are as well. You keep pressing it, see some other ones. Or sometimes it shows you a different angle like that. 
There's the one in the pipe. And then he also shows you the trap zippies. So you really just want to go around and collect everything as much as you can and find what you can. And then when you're getting down to the end, then you can talk to him and he can help you find the last couple ones that you need. So that's what's cool about it. It's not like you're really going to be uh, just looking and hoping that you find stuff. Having him show you uh, is really good. I'm going to show you where he is in every world too. He's really easy to find in Paradise Isles. You just go straight and he's like right up here when you start. So bouncing around here, just looking around in the world a little bit. There's a car right over here you can drive. You'll see cars all over the place though. That's one of the bad guys, the wild cards. Yeah, for the cars you just jump right in it. And then you move with the analog stick. Cars are pretty cool. You don't really need them or use them that much. But in uh, I think the third world there's some races you do with the cars. It's pretty cool. I have to say though I really did enjoy this game. I really like this game. I like these types of games. It reminds me of like an old school game. It's really fun. Just I like going around collecting stuff and the missions and you can uh, customize your guy. Right now this is my son's game so they actually have a Dan TDM one. This is the diamond minecart box with the hair and whatever. Or the hat he wears, whatever. My son loves Dan TDM. <laughs> So yeah, you can jump over pretty far. Make sure you do a mailbox before you go so you can fill up. And when you get to the other side, try to get another checkpoint. So in case you die, you don't have to go across again. There's a boss in every one. Each of the worlds, the three worlds. You have to collect enough stamps to go against the boss. You have to talk to this guy. Grody. In this one you need 10 stamps. You get one for climbing all the way up there. <laughs> Alright, now you can go to back to the hub world. You can either hit start and go to return to hub. Or you can go to any of the mailboxes and you hold A on it. The hub world is where you start when you first start the game. There's no stamps in the hub world, but there is um, golden tapes and one zippy to collect. This is a uh, swift tailoring. This is where you can uh, customize your box. You get an achievement for doing it. You can do it in the game or you can do it on the menu as well. As you play, you'll unlock new boxes. You get hats, sunglasses, or face stuff. Get the mustache. These are the different areas. This is the third world. You don't unlock the next world until you beat the boss in the first world. So that's the third world. This is the second world over here, the, the snow world. And then the first world is right when you start. You go down the elevator. Right here. And this takes you to Paradise Isles. You just jump in the crate, the shipping crate. <laughs> now right over here we can get an achievement when you first start the game. There's diaries all over the place. They're really not that hard to find. They are a little out of the way, but there's a bunch of them, so you'll get it no problem. But anyway, we can get the achievement right now, so you don't have to worry about diaries. You don't need them, only just need to find one, but they are pretty cool to read. So you press the switch up here, and you press the switch on the ground over this way. Then it'll open up the door, and the diary is right inside. There we go. And you'll get an achievement for reading it. Alright, 
Now, like I said, uh, the giving posts there throughout the world. Um, there's one in this world, the hub world, and it's over by the runway. You'll see the plane here. You're just going to go all the way to the end of the runway and to the left. You'll see a sign here. Right by some fireworks. Just click A on the sign and we'll say you found the giving post. And it will give you something. Just like a quick perk real quick. <laughs> and you'll get an achievement for that. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the other worlds and I'm going to show you where uh, Bounce is. The only problem I had was finding Bounce in the snow world, but once you know where he is, you won't have a problem after that. You can actually watch the little intro when you go to the snow world and it will show you where he is every time. So this is Bounce. He's at this house. You can look around to see the two um, slide things. Parcel Peak sign. Swift tailoring. So it's right over here in this area, so once you know where it is, you're good to go. The snow area was the hardest one, I thought, in my opinion. Just because it's like hard to really uh, learn the landscape and everything. But it's really not too bad. There's one area that's far out and it's like uh, an, an airplane graveyard. There's only one way to get there and that's through a mission. Alright, now at the third and last area. You're going to start behind these doors, like the Jurassic Park type doors. You'll be behind them and then you have to work your way here. Once you get here, it's kind of like the beginning area. And Bounce is right here, so he's easy to find. I'm just showing you where Bounce is because it's good to know where he is later on when you want to find the last couple things you need. You go check on him and you ask him to help find things and he'll show you. But that's it. This is a really awesome game. My only issue with this, I think it's a little overpriced. I think $20 at most would have been a lot better. Probably would sell more. But, like I said, there is a sale going on. If you pick it up the first day, it's $7 off. And also, you can win a copy on my Twitter, at Achievement Land. But that's it, guys. I have to say, this is a really fun game, though. And they're working on the last achievement that's broken. So, hopefully, they fix that soon so I can get my completion. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you check out this game, and for more achievement reviews, check out the YouTube and the website, AchievementLand.com.